Last week in our Bible study on finding your purpose, we talked about evaluating your values. Today we'll talk about the third step in finding your purpose, unwrapping your spiritual gifts. You may have heard something similar to this sentiment growing up. If you believe in yourself and work hard, you can be anything. And while it sounds like an awesome thing to hear, it's really not true if you just like think about it for a second. And listen, I know it sounds critical, but hear me out. If I put in 10 hours of work each and every day and worked so hard at it, I could never be an NBA player. I'm too short and far too uncoordinated. I could study British history for the rest of my life and I'll still never be the Queen of England. I'm not from the royal family, I'm not from England, and I'm not a lady. I know it sounds hard, Hard, but listen, I want this truth to transform you and not just trouble you. God didn't create you to do just anything. He created you with a specific purpose and plan in mind. In other words, God made you on purpose for a purpose. And really, there's no greater discovery than uncovering our purpose. So how do we uncover our purpose? Well, we've already talked about two of them. We learn from our experiences. We evaluate our values. And step number three, we unwrap our spiritual gifts. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4. Here's what it says. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit is the source source of them all. This passage in Corinthians is one of the three major gift lists that we find in the New Testament. Paul wants to help the church live a fulfilling life, so he's encouraging them to unwrap their spiritual gifts. So what is a spiritual gift? Simply put, a spiritual gift is a special ability given by God to be used for God in order to bless other people. Whether it's with a talent, a temperament, or a skill, God has blessed you in some way. So how do we unwrap our spiritual gifts? Here's three things you can do. First, ask yourself this question, what do I enjoy doing? Is there something you just love doing? Like you do it all day if you could. Maybe when your mind wanders, you end up thinking about this thing. God wired you to enjoy different things. So step number one to unwrapping your spiritual gifts is to explore what you enjoy. Why? Because God wants you to serve him with joy. I used to think my obsession with talking was a curse because it landed me in a couple of sticky situations. My sister Tamara Jade actually used to call me talk to too much Tory. <laughs> but today I realized that those sticky situations actually revealed my passion for communication. Your passions point to your purpose. The second step towards unwrapping your spiritual gift, evaluate what you do well. And here somebody might say, well, I don't do anything well. But that's kind of insulting to God though, isn't it? The truth is that he made you with specific skills that correlate with your calling. And this goes far beyond just an occupation, not just what you do, but what you do well. Pastor Elena is amazing at accounting, but that doesn't mean that that's what she's called to do. In other words, a career is something you're paid for, a calling is something you're made for. So are you good at organizing? Well, God probably gave you the gift of administration. Are you good at speaking? Maybe God has gifted you with the gift of teaching. Are you good at helping people through some tough times? God has probably gifted you with the gift of exhortation. Another way of asking this question is, what do people come to you for? Your spiritual gift may be hidden right there. Step number three for unwrapping your spiritual gifts is to ask yourself this question. What opportunities do I have right now. Because God likes to use present circumstances to shape future outcomes. There's probably a step you can take, a place you can volunteer, or a person that you can even reach out to as you shape your spiritual gifts today. Just like a muscle, the more you use your gifts, the stronger they become. Your purpose is not something you pursue someday. I worry because I hear the word someday a little too often. People say, oh, I'm gonna serve someday. Oh, I'm gonna come to church someday. Oh, I'm gonna talk to my friend about Jesus someday. Your purpose is not something you experience when you grow up. It's what you do today and tomorrow and the next day. Serving God doesn't require a certification or a graduation. So start today. Paul was obsessed with helping people unwrap their spiritual gifts. This is why he wrote three separate gift lists in the New Testament. And you can find them in Romans chapter 12, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and Ephesians chapter 4. Within those lists, he mentions well over a dozen different gifts that God might have given you. And we want to help you unwrap your spiritual gift. So starting next Sunday, we're going to be teaching through one of the major spiritual gift lists 
found in Romans chapter 12. And during our Wednesday small group Bible study, we'll even have assessments to help you identify which gift is yours. Sundays and Wednesdays at Empowerment over the next few months is going to be life changing. And there's a lot of things and a lot of people and a lot about yourself that's going to make sense. So here's what I want you to do this week. First, read through the spiritual gift list found in Romans chapter 12, verses 6 through 8. And read it in different versions so that it can make a little bit more sense. As you read through the gift list, I want you to pray for wisdom. Ask God, which one of these gifts has he given you? I want you to be open and honest with yourself. And I want you to ask somebody who's close to you, hey, this is what I think my gift is. Is this what you see in me. This would be a great time to ask friends, family, people who know you closely, what do you see in me? And be sure to join us next Wednesday as we conclude our Bible study on finding your purpose. I can't wait. I'll see you then.